Hey guys, it's Carrie from Feralic. So today's video is all about dog food. I mean, come on, it gets a little confusing. You walk into a store, there's 50 billion brands out there and types. You have your kibble, all the way to your freeze dried raw, all the way to your frozen raw. But what's the best? What's best for our dog? And is paying more equaling getting the best? Hmm. We put that theory to work here with Zwee Peaks, one of the more expensive brands out there you can buy. So join me in a few moments and we'll let you know what we found out. Okay, welcome back to Frolic. Once again, my name is Carrie. for those of you who don't know me. Um, so let's talk about the topic at hand. So as I said before, we are trying out Zwee Peaks. So kind of how my dogs are eating right now, I do have three dogs. Um, they're my little fur babies. I think you guys can relate to that. But they get whole home-cooked dog food in the morning, um, which you should see some videos coming up in the near future on homemade dog food recipes or treats. My vet does require me, however, to keep or feed a second meal in the evening, and he does require a kibble in case I'm missing out on an important nutrient. So we're going to go through this. We are, as I mentioned before, uh, testing out doing a review on Zwee Peak dog food. It is one of the more expensive dog foods out there. Um, it looks like this. We are trying the chicken flavor. This is the one that we've been trying for about a week now. So just to give you an idea on cost, this right here is a 2.2 pound bag. 2.2 pounds. Price, I don't know if you can see what I paid for that. Well, it's probably in reverse for you, is $39.99. Now the Kibble my dogs have been already eating have been the um, natural balance and it's been the fish and sweet potato. I can get for $40, pretty much $41, $42, I can get a 13 pound bag. It's either 13 or 15 pounds, I can't remember. So there's a big difference. So what makes this better than what I was feeding? I don't know. We're going to dive into that right now. So the reason I wanted to try out Zwee Peaks um, is because I do make the home cooked meals in the morning. So I like to look for stuff that has fresh ingredients in like I would make or something as close to healthy and fresh as the home cooked meal, if that makes sense. I'm going to apologize in advance because my throat's a little dry and I've been using the overuse of the word um lately. So just for warning you, there may be a couple ums going and I'm also going to be looking down on the computer. There's lots of information, so lots of useful information and important information that I don't want to leave out and forget to tell you. So if you see me kind of looking down this way, it's because the computer screen's that way. And I want to make sure I'm not neglecting any of that. So let's get, um, let's dive a little bit into ZB Peaks. Who are they? What is the food all about? It is an air dried food. Um, actually, I'm going to show you a piece of it. When you look at the bag, it kind of resembles like a piece of jerky. So let me take out a piece for you. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up on that, but excuse the nails. I got, you have to paint them still, but it looks like little flat pieces of jerky. It's just little squares. Sorry, my camera is going nuts trying to adjust, which I don't think it's going to. But you get it. It looks like jerky. And then, so first and foremost, what I'm noticing is the bag is saying it's complete and balanced and it's actually made in small batches. You want a dog food that's made in small batches because typically they use higher quality ingredients. It's made in smaller batches. There's less chance for error. There's less chance for recall. So that's one big, very important tip for you guys. So I'm gonna look down on the screen for a minute. Um, the factory itself is in New Zealand. 
And one of the things, I'm just going to read some information for you. Um, our home New Zealand has a temperature climate which allows Zeewee to use only animals that are free-ranging, grass-fed all year long. Um, our beef and lamb venison are all sourced from free-range farms with no feedlots, barns, or cages. This natural feeding provides superior levels of beneficial nutrients and unsaturated fatty acids. So right there, I can, I'm really liking that. I'm liking the company. This food is kind of catered on um, the whole prey theory. You're going to see higher protein content. Um, now heading back to New Zealand. Um, as New Zealand is an island nation with strict biosecurity, there are no infectious animal diseases such as BSE, mad cow, or foot and mouth disease. That is rather intriguing too because I would hate to think dog food that I'm feeding my dog has that in it. All of our meat and seafood ingredients are sourced from expert certified facilities. Our quality control team works closely with all our suppliers to ensure our ingredients not only meet but exceed our stringent requirements. Um, and then for the flavors that do have the fish in it, I'm testing chicken, but there are a lot that have fish mixed in and fish blends. Our fish is caught in the southern oceans of New Zealand and strictly managed by the New Zealand government to ensure maximum sustainability. New Zealand's seafood industry has been ranked the most sustainably managed fishery in the world twice already. I'm impressed. Who's not impressed it was, by this? It was an air-dried dog food. What is air-drying? I'm going to read it to you because I could not memorize it all. Um, at the heart of what we do is our hands-on artis artisanal approach to air drying, a modern and refined twist on the centuries-old technique of naturally preserving meats. This slow, gentle, twin-stage process eliminates pathogenic bacteria such as salmonella and listeria. That's good. While protecting the nutrition of our ingredients. Our air-dried recipes are 96% meat, organs, and bone including 3% New Zealand green muscle for natural glucosamine and 7% species specific tripe for added palability and digestive benefits. All Zeewee recipes are complete and balanced for all breeds and life stages, which is very important. You don't want to be feeding puppy food to an adult or senior food to an adult. Um, they're just not getting the nutrients they need. So I like that this is an all stage dog food. Um, they are high in natural protein and kilocalories, packing more power than raw food and kibble. Um, so you feed smaller quantities per day. Not only do you feed less, you can feel good about not including grains, potatoes, corn, wheat, soy, uh, sugars, um, and glycerins in your dog's diet. So right there is a key ingredient. We are going to dive into that um, shortly. You feed less. Think about that. We'll get back to that. Our ingredient list is shorter than most, but we don't think you'll miss a thing. Take a look and compare it to our competitors. You'll notice a real difference. Um, we are sure your dog will too. So what I'm going to do is when they say feed less, each bag, and I'm going to open this one, comes with... A plastic scoop, it's a little two ounce scoop. Um, and I gotta be honest with you. So once again, 2.2 pound bag, okay? I paid $40 for it. Usually if I was feeding one dog, I would uh, about a month and a half go through a 13 pound bag of dog food. Um, I am gonna put a picture because I took I took I have three dogs like I said I chose one Jasper he is a 15 pound cockapoo I'm gonna show you a picture of my daily serving <laughs> and you're gonna be astonished at this the smaller bowl is the Zeewee Peaks that is telling me in this picture coming up that is all I feed him a day is and then to compare it just so you see the difference i have the other food the natural balance and how much um he would have been required to eat a day with that so i'm going to insert a picture hopefully right now 
Also, if you go to Zeewee Peak, they do have a food calculator, which kind of helps you out. You type in your dog's weight and then their activity levels, which is very, very important because a dog who's more stationary, who just kind of lounges around throughout the day, isn't going to need as many calories as a dog who's out active. Or like I said, I have three when they're playing with each other and burning the calories throughout the day. So I do recommend you going there. It does tell you on the bag. Um, it kind of talks about Scoop Science right there. However, it's not really clear. So I do recommend you go to the Zeewee Peak website and use the calculator. It's easy. Um, what I am really impressed about this food is this little bag will last me, for one dog, the same amount of time a 13-pound bag lasts, which is mind-blowing. However, it does lead me to another question because you're eating smaller portions and this food is dense and rich in nutrients um so theoretically you don't have to eat as much would that be the equivalent of me going into burger king in the morning eating a whopper meal um and then that's it that's all i get during the day because i may be stuffed then and i might be eating my whole daily um thing and calories but I'm gonna be hungry come the afternoon so is my dog gonna feel the same thing if you're a person who feeds your dog once a day and you're giving him everything is he gonna be starving in the afternoon so if you are feeding ZB Peak I do recommend highly um, breaking it up into two meals throughout the day for morning and afternoon um, that way they're not left feeling hungry. And then I do throw some treats in throughout the day with my dog. So there's no worry there, but I felt that was important to bring up to you guys. So I did want to mention that to you so you can make your own judgment, but I found it amazing. Like I said, that I would buy it again because this bag is lasting and the dogs, um, really seem to enjoy it. I did, and I will actually post a picture <laughs> Um, of them in some video footage. I let them do a little taste test. I put a kibble in a bowl for them to choose and they put the Zeewee Peaks. So hang on and you will get to see what happened there to see if the dogs actually choose the Zeewee Peaks over a kibble. Hmm, who knows? I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the dogs choose themselves. I'm gonna dump the Zeewee Peak in one container and I'm gonna dump some of the kibble in the other bowl. And we are going to put this down and we are going to see which bowl all three dogs actually gravitate to. So get ready for madness. Hi hey, puppies. What do you guys like, huh? What bowl? Oh, well, we have Gizmo. Go ahead, Jasper. Which one do you like? Gizmo is eating it all. Jasper does not seem interested in the other bowl at all. <laughs> What's wrong? Is Gizmo being a piggy? Here, Gizzy. That's your brother and sister, see? Go on, Jasper. Go see, Jasper. What bowl do you like? Oh, and I think we have a clear winner. Zeewee Peak. Um, Lally, did you want to try to get a bite? And there you go. The dogs prefer the taste of Zeewee Peak. So, one of the things that I did notice about this food could be important to some people. I know it's important to me. One of my guys, I'm always trying to sneak more moisture into his diet. Um, with this food, I did try soaking a couple pieces in water and it did not absorb it. So, this is not one of those things. Like kibble, you can add a little bit of water to it and it makes kind of like a gravy. And it's a great way to sneak uh, moisture into your dog's diet. This would not be one of those foods. So all in all, is a more pricey dog food better than a kibble? Well, I can honestly say this isn't really more pricey because I'm getting the same amount of feedings out of this than I would the other bag. So I guess it comes up to you. Now, do I think this food is healthier? than the kibble I am feeding. Yes, um, it is, only because it goes according to the whole prey theory, you're gonna have a higher protein content. It has a higher protein content than the kibble I am feeding. Um, however, it doesn't have a lot of the additional stuff in there because it is the whole prey theory. Yeah, it it's mostly going to have your vitamins, minerals, your bone, 
and then your proteins. Whereas when I go to the kibble, I have some of my proteins. Um, if you're feeding some with grain, you have a little bit of grain, but then I will have some of my fruits and vegetables too. Now, are fruits and vegetables really required for dogs according to the Veterinary Association? Probably not. But let me tell you what, I like having superfoods in my dog's dog food. I like the blueberries. I like the cranberries. I like um, some fresh sweet potato in there. But I don't feel bad because as I mentioned before, I do make my dogs homemade dog food in the morning. So whatever they don't get in their kibble, they're getting in the homemade dog food. But yep, yeah, ZB Peaks, it's a winner. I recommend trying it. Um, there are a couple different flavors if you have a dog who has allergies to particular proteins. I have one of those. He can't eat any lamb. So he ruins the lamb thing for my other dogs too. But yeah, ZB Peaks, go try it out for yourself. Have a good Hi guys, I just want to say thank you again for checking out our ZB Peaks review. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any more informational videos coming up. And leave me some comments. I want to know who you are. I want to know what you feed your dog. I want to know what kind of dogs you have. Until then, you guys take care. Bye-bye.